What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Last Days of War cast. We are Southern California-based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I am Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Josh. You guys first on the agenda? Shots. Shots. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That's stuff. What are we drinking there? Jack Daniels Fire? No, uh, Jack Daniels Fire. It's grown on me. I've, it uh, doesn't remind me of Fireball as much as I thought it did. Yeah. It's good. It's a, I like it it's better. a better version than Fire, I like it, Fireball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Fireball's too sugary for me. It's just... Uh, Welcome to the world. Wonderful world of diabetes. I'm already there, bro. Oh. You know what right. I'm saying? Well, well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the show, folks. <laughs> My condolences. <laughs> Don't do it. Adult onset oh, type two of diabetes. <laughs> uh, Danny, we uh, were having this conversation the other day about uh, virtual reality concerts. You were telling me about this. Fill me in. Yeah. So uh, we're doing. Uh, we're going to start doing virtual reality concerts here. We are. I don't yeah. know why that was so funny. Are we was... doing it, or is, well, are so, musicians doing? Okay, so it? artists. Real people. Touring is expensive. Yes. Right? And I've even heard, I've even heard some uh, logistics companies in the tour industry talking about the impacts of, say, like global warming in the, the touring industry and how that's going to affect it in the future. And then you're talking about virtual reality and AI and all these different things coming in. And, and uh, it's just, I think at what point are we going to start seeing bands doing like full-on virtual reality concerts mm, you know what yeah. i'm saying so that's wow. so i'm talking like we kind of you know, like the from, Fortnite stuff but with actual bands like with actual <laughs> like, bands like, actual I, I think i think it's going to be more cross-platform type deal like where you have uh the artists doing you know Fortnite concerts and putting their music videos and little like special presentations through a video game like you might have Slipknot in a Gears of War game, you know what I'm saying? Right. That'd be dope. Like they Custer put on dude a, just cutting people up. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. You see what I'm saying? That'd like they they could do more crossover stuff, or is it going to be more? Um, I don't know. Even how WWE was during the pandemic, mm -hmm. where they just show the band in an empty arena and you're performing, and this is how they do. Like kind of like how Foo Fighters did when they brought in um, Josh Freeze, mm -hmm. you know, where they did like the live jam session. And it's just them in a room, right? And having more of that intimate setting as opposed to, hey, here's what we did on the road. I mean, don't get me wrong, concert videos growing up, like I love seeing when the bands went on the road and them playing different shows and seeing them backstage with their backstage videos and behind the scenes footage and interviews and stuff like like i love that stuff seeing that about a band hence why we kind of do this little podcast forecast subscribe uh but you know this is kind of what i love to see about the music industry is how it's all made and the personalities behind the people that get together each week to fucking make said music you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. yeah uh like when corn put out like their who then now video it was like fuck yeah this is awesome like you get to see behind the scenes of what made the band and how they're dealing yeah, of with course. their what do you yeah. think about uh like local smaller independent bands like like bands that are more like uh like van trailer you know what i'm saying i'm not talking like the tour buses no, oh no, yeah I'm I'm about... i think we're already kind of starting to see the culture lean in that direction with so many bands that go on tiktok live Right. Like we've, how many times have we talked about wanting to do that? And it's one of the things where like, eventually we will, we plan to do something like that. But right. <clears throat> at what point does a band say, this is the most beneficial thing to do instead of going on tour, right. you know? And do you, do you think it hurts the band in the long run for people who love to go see bands on tour? Like that love oh, the live, the live. I mean, I think if you're mixing it up, then I think you're good. Yeah. You know, I think if you're, if you're, at home off to off tour and you're doing live shit and you're on there like making fans and people are seeing you and you're selling merch and everybody's having fun with it like that's great and then when you're on the road you're on the road i think if you yeah. mix it up i think you're gonna do well 
What do you think, but, Josh? That uh, makes sense. So you probably have to do a mixture of both. You couldn't just do one because otherwise, wouldn't it just be a continuation of what started with the COVID shows? Right. Yeah. Where they were just live streaming their show and you were paying for a ticket to stream the to show. stream the show. And I think you go on something like, you know, you go on live and you're sitting there and you're literally talking to people, Q&A style, and you're talking, you know, like I've seen bands that have their singer and they're talking and they're watching the screen and they're responding and reacting to people and then boom we're into a song and it's like buy our shirt i think that that will beat out going to a small local bar and playing a show yeah you start to pick and choose what you're gonna do more strategically i think it's smart like you guys were saying to do both mm-hmm. oh i for think the, you should still go to the small for bar the simple, for the simple play reason the show. Well, for the yeah. simple reason of you do these little videos these little lives however you want to do it buy a ticket to our live youtube feed or whatever it yeah. is you know i'm not i'm not I saying that's a great stop way to, doing live shows i'm saying in conjunction with i think it's a great way to build a fan base to ensure that your tour is going to be successful right you know what i mean Get out there, talk to as many people as you can through the internet. But and then you live stream your live show. Yeah, when you're playing at a local. Bar. You could, but then it's. A, I think it might be a little oversaturation. It's like giving away the night before before you go see the show. But like, how many people scrolling through your live have seen you before? And not only that, I feel like we live in from the, Kansas or New York or Chicago or Florida or over here or on the other side of the planet. You know, what I mean, I'm just saying. The audience out there is way bigger than what I've seen at most dive bars. That's true. But also, yeah. I feel like a lot of people this day and age are introverts more than they are ex- extrovert. And more than the, the thought of like, I love this band. I can just fucking watch them on my phone here. Dude, if I had a good set show. of earbuds and it was high quality sound yeah. and the video was good, fuck, I'd get down. Hell yeah. yeah. You know, I'd watch it. Yeah. You know? It's interesting, man. Uh, I don't think... I know that... I don't know if you want to elaborate more on the, like you were saying that somebody was saying that like the effects of global warming on touring. Mm-hmm. What what did you mean by that? Like, uh, it's it's going to be more of a challenge to like logistically. Like well, like so when you're talking about like, hey, I have a I have a bus and I have a trailer and I'm scooting around the United States. That's one way to do it, right? And it's. All your it's kind of nice because all your shit's in one little package. But when you're when you're out there touring with multiple semis and there's crew people on different vehicles, you know what I'm saying? And there's shuttles taking you to venues and shit. Like all what basically what's happening is is that it's going to be less and less cost effective mm-hmm. to do tours. And it's going to become harder because of gas prices. Um, it's going to become harder to do a concert in certain places where the heat is. Yeah. People are going to want to go out for that or whatever it is. So yeah. basically the touring industry, there's, I've heard talks of it of going, well, if this gets to that point, there's going to be areas on this planet that we can't do shows in anymore. Yeah. That's, so that is crazy to think about. <laughs> like yeah. It's a conversation know, that's happening because, in the logistics industry of it. Literally. But I feel like the artists that are traveling in semis, you, Metallica, Taylor Swift, U2, Rolling Stones. Like, these are artists who can easily... I don't think they're touring with... I think they're flying in. Yeah. You know, I don't think they're driving along with the semis. You know, I, those artists are flying around. I mean, when you get to that level. Uh, at that level. But I'm saying that their crew still has to fucking drive. So the semis still have to show up. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Taylor Swift showing up at a show is like a WWE event where you have these semis with superstars plastered all over them. It's just fucking T. She literally had shows that like changed the economy in that city. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that's how much revenue her fucking shows. She put those. out a movie about her concerts, a movie about her concerts and the pre-sale matched Marvel. Yeah, it did. Like, and my wife not, went to be, her concerts and can't wait to buy the movie. And I'm like, what? What are we doing? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> you know? Tell you what's that? Taylor Swift is killing it. That's what cheers. Happened. Cheers to Taylor Swift, man. Cheers to Taylor. Super Bowl predictions. I was gonna say I great think, segue. <laughs> I think Taylor Swift is winning the Super Bowl. Oh yeah, dude. She she owns the Kansas City Chiefs, right? She owns it. Like, I think she's pretty soon. I think she'll buy a football team or something. Right. <laughs> Good there. Mm-hmm. Honestly, Taylor Swift and the Kansas City Chiefs stuff. Is my extent of knowledge of the NFL right now. 
<laughs> so like I don't really watch football. So. There's some, but you are, are because of Taylor Swift, right? No, I then can't, gonna say, keep I can't say that that's the case. No, but but you only keep up because Taylor Swift is at the games, right? Yes. Okay, so with that being said, do we find America's new national hero? Taylor Swift? No. Mm-hmm. Yes, Taylor Swift <laughs> is essentially the NFL's best fucking representative right now for viewership. How do we keep the viewers? You have them win the Super, uh, have them win the Super Bowl. Uh, well, I, I think no matter what. like So like who's I've, the Vince McMahon of the NFL? Right. That's uh, well, a spirit. So uh, do, you, do you fall into this... NFL scripted? No, I think all sports are scripted. Okay. Every since they fucking once it saw becomes WrestleMania. a business, once it becomes a business, it's scripted. Well, I've seen some people on the internet going like, "The NFL scripted." Oh my god! Like literally, that dude, that dude shanked the field goal and missed it by like a foot. And oh my god, it's scripted. Yeah. Bullshit, bro. Bullshit. Kick a if, field goal, bro. If the refs are making calls. And it's just the NFL and the refs. I think you, I think there's no way you're getting these fucking players to say I'm throwing a fucking game. No, it's not the well, players. Uh, right, it's well, the refs. Saying, refs it's not but the there are people things. who take it to that no, fucking no, stand. No, 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 one hundred percent, bro. You are. Now I've seen. I want to. I want to ask you guys how true this is. Apparently, there was like this conspiracy of all the Super Bowl logos already having the colors of the two teams that okay. were going to be. So at the beginning of this season, if I if you asked me who would be the most probable teams to be to in yeah i would have told you the niners and the the ravens and that's the colors so it's they just were. like it's, i think it's that there's i think that, that some people are not giving the people in the nfl enough credit to know that mm-hmm. we see the teams we know what's going on but we watch them play every we year we fucking okay. know <laughs> this yeah. game like you think they don't fucking know okay they, like the, the it, that shit hits Vegas before the beginning. They do all that shit. So yeah. the, they fucking know who the most probable to win is. You think there's anything behind that, Josh? Maybe. Yeah. I haven't been watching any of the games, so uh, I couldn't. I've you, seen but. some questionable calls, and I think maybe there might be, there could possibly be something there, but. Doing not, a spin a Rooney? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, I, I've seen some ball placement stuff to where it's like, this would be a first down and this wouldn't. You're just kind of like, and then the fucking they challenge it, and it's like all of a sudden. And I've seen a few of them where it's like they don't even they don't they're not even watching the damn tape. They're like, oh, they got it, fucking yeah, got it. <laughs> yeah, give it to them. <laughs> I'm like, that took two seconds. What the fuck, you know? Like, it, so you know, chalk it up to to bad refereeing or t- chalk it up to somebody playing favors or something like that. Aside from that, I mean, outside of of the possibility the NFL might want a team to win and maybe fudge some calls or something. I think outside of that bullshit, you're fucking nuts. Yeah. That, I think uh, the only one I saw was the, something about the Cowboys game where they said the camera guy kept zooming in on the coach's playbook. Oh and yeah. And yeah. there was multiple scenes where there was a guy looking at his TV and he's like, no, look, you yeah. can read their whole entire formation oh, and how they respond to that play. So then if you were watching the screen, you got their whole damn clipboard right there. So you knew if they're running this formation, they're running this play. So you knew exactly what they were going to do. Yeah, I saw something about that, too, where it was like years ago, some Super Bowl game where like one of the coaches finally admitted like, yeah, I just so happened to be watching TV at the time and they were showing the other team's practice. And I saw them run this play that they never run during practice. And I knew it was fucking coming, and that's how we fucking won. He goes, and when I told, he's like, it's been, I, honestly, I couldn't tell you who the teams were because I don't follow football, but I remember seeing this story just recently. And he was like, I thought it was funny. The other coach didn't, you know, like when I finally told him about it. But I just so happened to be watching TV when they were fucking running a practice play in the background. And I was like, there's something they don't do, that they're probably going to do that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, right. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, man. I don't know. I, I, like you said, the zooming I, I, but in. The, but to be honest with you, that's like the equivalent of a band touring with a known band. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, we're going to go on tour with Trapped. You know? It's just like, yeah, I know you, how much you guys love these guys. <laughs> we go on tour with said band. And like, uh, you know, and and they have, you know, they have the one song that they're known for. <laughs> yeah. And let's say we 
<laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. So let's say we played with said band and we go on tour with said band and we know that that said band's number one hit is that song. It's played. We're playing it. 30 minutes of that song. I guarantee you. Like, if you want to hear that song, like we we're going to give you so 30 minutes of that publicity song. Publicity and fans over that dude mm-hmm. if we did that shit. It's, yeah. Well, especially because we don't really care for trap. <laughs> but I think that's the only reason. But, like, if I actually fucking care and respect about you, it's like, yeah, well, this is what I put my money into. Like, I want to tour with you guys. I want to play with you guys. I'm going to do the songs that you're not going to do. Like, I'll, I will cover a song, like, that I love by you guys that you're not playing. So name one, one of the Trap songs. One song no. that you like no, no, by no, Trap. No, 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 but I wouldn't go on tour with Trap. You already like said this. the name enough times so he's probably going to show up in the comments. Fuck him. But, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> who cares? Like, so, dude, he's going to take you on. He's going to fucking yeah. take us on, bro. He's headstrong. No, you know what? I would, I would sing. <laughs> I, in all honesty, I would <laughs> rather cover... <laughs> I, I would rather cover Headsprung by LL Cool J. Hey, LL Cool J fucking slaps, bro. Hey, hey Rob, man. how long Whoa. do we Six have inches. Six and a half. <laughs> before AI, on a cold day. AI takes us over and fights back? How long do you think we got? AI don't give a fuck about us. That's bro, why we're fighting back. I disagree, back. dude. Hey. And I, uh, what, you think there's going to be an AI mark? Dude, I think there's going to what? They, they couldn't AI me, I guarantee you. Yeah, no. It's just like, we generated an AI, Johnny think, Chico. Get the fuck out of here. Well, I haven't even perfected him yet. Like, <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell me fucking... But you don't think or, that, like, you if, know, we know keep, him yet. if we keep fucking with AI the way we're fucking with AI, that eventually it's going to be a fucking Terminator situation? Oh, 100. But do I so think... So how long do we have? For us? No, we're fine. Do you think we'll see that in our lifetime? No, do you we'll be think, dead. Do you think the we're, militaries of the we're world, battling how far do you think they're into it? Diabetes. Hold on, like, hold on, hold on. What was that? How far do you think the militaries of the world are into making AI? I think they're already, AI fucking, already doing this shit. Dude. Right. Did That's you see the, the text I sent you guys? Yeah. Like that they're already having AI Biden calling people in New Hampshire, telling them not to vote. Like, But we you, want a fair election. That's yeah, true. but unless it's just like at that point, like, what do you know is fair? Like, well, who who the fuck's answering their phone nowadays? Let's be honest. <laughs> like, if someone's calling and you don't know the number, are you fucking answering it? No, bro, I don't answer it when I know the number, bro. <laughs> stop calling, mom. <laughs> I'll wait for that fucking phone call to stop ringing and I'll text them back. What's up? You know, <laughs> like, hey, man, what's up, dude? <laughs> what do you think, Josh? How long do we got? Are we in trouble? It's already happening. Yeah, it's already happened. I think yeah, dude. Well, so those I, aliens are in Florida. Bro. Yeah, they were robots. Alpha Chaconians. Alpha Chaconians hey, Florida. I heard a, I heard a fucking conspiracy. I think I sent you a video about this, but some somebody's talking about if you switch the longitude and the latitude of the fucking from GPS. The Florida, you told me the, the other Florida night thing, when I was here. Yeah, that the the longitude latitude line up with somewhere in Antarctica. It's yeah. a predator. Yeah. And my favorite thing about that is there's this guy in the video where he's like, oh, yeah, so they're talking about this. Yeah. And he's like, that's it's how fucking, fucking grids crazy. work, bro. Dude, he's how like, fucking that's how it works, bro. Yeah. They're like, isn't it crazy if you, like, flip the latitude and longitude of this, it, it puts it here? Yeah, like, put it on the... No, because yeah. that's how fucking grids work. He's like... It's not, this is not a coincidence. <laughs> this is fucking... Yeah. He was just like, I wish everybody could understand how, like... Pointless this is when he's well, okay, dude, it was so, so funny. So we want to talk about conspiracy theories about the whole uh Bermuda Triangle and the dragon point. Let's go. Oh, the what? Yeah, okay. I mean, so dude, you said dragons. Okay, so when we grew dragons, up when, growing up, we dragons always heard about the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is this existential triangle where everything just disappears. Planes go down and everything falls apart when you're in this triangle, the Bermuda Triangle. The polar opposite is in like a sea of Japan and they call it like the dragon point. Okay. And this is where they believe that the mega beast will originate from. Godzilla? Yeah. Along those lines. Or um uh, uh Pacific Rim, if you're along those lines. Uh Pacific Rim job is like an entirely different movie. Please don't Google that one. We don't recommend it. Uh, this is still a family <laughs> venue. We still yeah. offer most ages to view this. You see Pacific yeah. Rim Job? That's a good one. Pacific Rim Job. 
Um, there wasn't a single female in that cast. So, no, I have not seen that movie. It's like 12 Angry Men. No, you know you I'm not like watching it. that. No, it's so not the, what you think it is. So the theory is, is the opposite end of the Bermuda Triangle is the Dragon's Den. Whatever you call it, what you call it? Yeah, Dragon Point. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah. know the specific name of it, but there's a polar opposite where they believe that these mega beasts will originate from, which is like the opposite. Like, like Titans. The, yeah. Yeah. And that's where this whole Godzilla. Did you guys fucking see that footage? The fucking they released from some Iraqi base of the fucking squid fucking UFOs. Dude, that shit looked crazy. It's see like a shit? fucking jellyfish that? flying around. It's a fucking looks like a. Have you seen it? We're yeah, fucking recording. You're gonna drop this shit on me now? Yeah, yeah dude. Right? no, yeah, it's awesome. Like, I kind of want a video of this. Shit. It's uh, check it out. It's like kind of like an infrared shot. Yeah, right? I believe like it's a, like I said. I think it was footage from an uh, an Iraqi surveillance base tower or whatever right and i hear that it was like having trouble like locking it locking on until it went into like infrared and then it could see it or something Luckily, like it was that a floating, a f- floating crane bro it's a little fucking floating squid bro we got squids flying around wait now. hang on you said crane you said Our, flying squid and you're, you you're watching fun. it in real rob's watching it in real time holy shit okay wait this guy's got a jetpack what is that? Let me, <laughs> it's a let me what is that? Uh, what the fuck is that? It's a fucking flying squid, bro. Is that Look at a, this shit. Look at that. Wait, that's what we're trying to figure out what the fuck that is? Yeah. 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 Dude, yeah. it looks like a fucking it looks like fucking Krang flying, dude. No, it's the drone bot from fucking Star Wars. That's what that's flown. what somebody fucking showed the video and it had the fucking sound. Yeah. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> that's dude, this is one hundred percent like, right? that's what that is. So I saw this other theory of this guy where they're like, how come every time they show UFO footage, it looks like somebody recorded it on a fucking potato? Well, that's not a potato. That's like a a fucking military grade. But but the guy in the video had a great point. He was like, you don't think that aliens know about our technology? Right. To counter that? And they were saying in the video that 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 system like locks on to fucking vehicles approaching that base, like suicide car bombs and shit. And it'll fucking wipe them out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it was having trouble how did tracking that, and locking on. How did that thing? What? Wait, 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 wait. This thing flew over the base. Like the video he yeah, showed me. Yeah, it was a me, base that it were This thing over. is flying over it. Like it's apparent. Now, you know me, conspiracy theories. Holy fuck. No guy great with a fun, fucking But I don't pistol. dive too far into it. But Nobody fucking went out and shot at I've this thing. I've heard something that they've, like, there's reports that they're seeing these around, like, military and, like, especially, like, nuclear type. Yeah. But it's funny, know, you say that nobody shot it down, which is funny because there was a time last year where they were shooting out every fucking balloon that was flying over No, anything. you tell Americans <laughs> that they're going to fucking, listen, they're like, hey, I'll tell you people right now. The they're, fucking what they're Star Wars droid can stay, but shoot down that balloon. <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you this, there's going to be a drone net, a net of drones that just go out and view the whole fucking world at every minute of the day. Yeah. And they're just going to view us and watch us in every single movement. It's going to capture every single little thing and pinpoint every movement and every temperature body. And it's going to be fucking gross. Now, is it Shoot a fucking... down every fucking drone you see. I'll tell you now. <laughs> is it a Mylar balloon or what? Right? No. I mean, seriously? No, like... it's a fucking drone. <clears throat> There's going to come a time when we're going to be old. What's that sound again? It's going to sound like your wife in the bedroom by herself. Oh, oh, damn. damn. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Brush my teeth. Leave me alone. Five more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hitting the molars. Hitting the molars. The molars. The molars. I'm hitting oh, the molars. Man. Oh, shit. Do you think... I don't even know what the fuck I was going to say. Thinking, I don't even know if your wife owns an electronic toothbrush. I'm sure she does. <laughs> I know she does. Hard to reach cavities. Fucking, uh, you were talking about the you don't dive too deep into conspiracies. Um, <laughs> She's still been there every single one of them. No, no, no. Like you were saying, you were literally just saying that. Right yeah. Now. Like you well, don't like, dive too deep. I'll but check like, it do out. Do you believe... But- We've made contact with alien life form. Fuck if I know. Do you believe that there's other life forms outside in this universe other than us? I think we've seen seen some weird shit. Yeah, I, I, I think, mean, at that point, I think right that now, it's crazy of us to think that there's not. Like, like I said, I'll look into conspiracy. 
but I, I'm pretty skeptical. I, I, you yeah, know what I'm saying? You, like, you're very like literal. grounded. Dude, I, yeah, literal dude. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I see that thing and I see a fucking squid flying around and I'm like, Oh, that's some shit. Yeah. You know, like, Oh, fuck the fuck. You know, uh, the part where it hasn't the fucking people in the government basically said that haven't they announced dude that wasn't that crazy they were shit? like hey guys ufos are real and nobody fucking and, cares but did, wait, here's did the thing they did, it, they, they did it twice wait but didn't they tag on to that that they said also that like yes we have no means of defending ourselves or fighting them so yeah isn't that, isn't that what was said at some no point? because we're fighting ourselves well i know we, we have missiles prepared for fucking gaza i feel like aliens we, pulled up and they're like we could take these dudes out they're like hold they're on like, wait let them they're do doing it on their own. Hey, wait, no, let's just <laughs> sit back let's just and wait watch. and see what happens oh uh, we we're were just promise we <laughs> could use our my vegas points huh. <laughs> just <laughs> aliens coming down you think, you think to... there's other life forms in the universe other oh, than us hell yeah explains my kids Fuck yeah. I didn't want to say your kids look like aliens, but you said it. Thank you. Nail on the head. Have <laughs> kids. Damn, Damn, Rob, no, he went after my wife and his kids. <laughs> Fucking bro, who's next? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, a, I'm on the chopping block here. Here it comes. Danny, where are your kids? <laughs> no, I'm just. Yeah, man, I, dude, I, I, I think it's crazy to, to think that there's not some other formula. Now, when you get into this whole like it's alternate universes stuff, I'm a little skeptical on that. Yeah, but as no, far but as that's, like that's, other planets, that's that, modern MCU, that's, right? That's, that's I, the modern I think MCU. I think uh, I think we'll find other life. Uh, intelligent life is a whole other conversation. Yeah, and like I said, I don't know what the fuck's been going on with all the fucking Alpha Draconian shit. Right, but it's fucking bonkers, man. That's all I can. Uh, that's all I can say. It's I, I'll nuts. say this, Neil. The Neil deGrasse Tyson came out and said, uh, I, I don't think that alien species are even interested in the level of intellect that we have to offer. Right. Like, it's just, no, sorry, passes by. We have, we've failed your experiment. Go on to the next planet. I mean, I think, I think that if aliens swooped by and saw us, they would either keep going and go roll up their windows. That. Yeah, Lock or it. they would go. Let's, <laughs> Lock the let's, doors. Lock quick. the doors. Let's see Earth. take them out of their misery, or let's fucking help them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I don't know. They stopped by a mall in fucking Miami. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're, not right. they're, they're not that right. They're not that right. Stop is Florida. Right here, we're fucking slashing low prices. Bro. There's no in intelligent life here or anywhere else. Or anywhere else, bro. Yeah. Speaking of intelligent life, Ron DeSantis backed out of the Republican. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good segue. Thank you. <laughs> I, but his dumb ass back Trump. And it was just like, ah, oh, you fucking moron. Ah, oh, oh, God damn All it. All the shit that Trump talked about that dude. Hear me out. Nice we all him. grew up in the American fucking educational system, right? We were all taught the same fucking books. We just read this shit, read this shit. Hitler was bad. You know, all right. Hitler was bad. World War II was bad. We came in. We were the hero. We saved it all. But what did we do? We're fucking recreating the fucking, hey, no, we're going to try to do this one better. Okay, well, now watch this. No, wait, wait, wait. We're not putting this part in books, are we? <laughs> no, hey, listen, we're going to try to re recreate this. I well, will say that the thought of like, World War Three happening at the same time that we're having like a fucking civil war is kind of frightening. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, fuck, dude. You know, we are gonna have a civil war. Dude. <laughs> it's gonna so, be dude. a bunch of uh, Walmart warriors that get out there in their gear, and there might be some fucking Gen Z kids fucking telling, gunning, Danny, them, fucking telling, gunning them down with drones, and you're gonna be done. <laughs> Five o'clock dinner's gonna be coming, and you're gonna want to go fucking home and chill out. You ain't doing it. There's our you fucking viral video of the you're week. You're lazy as fuck. You ain't doing it. You know what I'm saying, bro? You ain't doing it, dude. <laughs> you may sit out there for a day or two, bro, and then you're fucking going home, dude. Yeah, man. It's no. If you don't get man. shot by the fucking kid you fucking hate, Gen Z kid flying a drone, <laughs> gunning you down, bro, you're going to go home and go get dinner, dude. Shut the fuck up. All these fucking no. Fortnite kids, bro, they're going to come out. <laughs> you know, they're going to oh, be video gaming royal. your ass, dude. Victory Royale. Yeah, oh, yeah you're going to, you're going to. Fuck around with these kids, see what happens, dude. And fucking find out, dude. And with that, we'll be right back. Will we? Will we? Will we? Will we? I don't Probably. Know. We'll see. <laughs> What's up, guys? Danny and Mark from The Last Days of War. 
What's going on? Just want to remind you guys that you guys can follow us on all our social media pages. It's the, got the TikTok and the Instagram and the yeah. Facebook and threads. Those are all the last days of war. And X is the last days of war because the is too long. Uh, check out our merch. That's a great way to support the band. It is in our bios on all of our social media pages. Anything else, Danny? Have a good one. Back to the show. And we're fucking back. You guys, shots. Ooh. Oh, straight, straight into it. Straight into right. yeah. Here's two. Here's two. Yeah. Whew. Those are fake. I regret not having a chaser right now. Yeah, that's not uh, fake. Yep, that's fucking fire. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> Let's do a little fucking hot takes right now. Yeah, let's do a little fucking hot takes, hot takes, hot takes. Hot takes. Want to read that one, Danny? Cats we... make better companions than dogs. Go, Josh. Mm. Oh, I'm biased because I like cats, but I can't have them because my kids and my wife are allergic to it. Okay. So I'm a dog person. For sure. For sure. What about you, Danny? If I come Holy shit, anywhere. Holy just blew through Josh. Okay. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. No. I'm so, no, no, no. I, I thought that was like, okay. That was a starting point. You're right. I cut him off. Do you like was to Was there more or no? No. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> that, was fucking, that was it. Nah, bro, that was fucking it, dude. 36 seconds right there, bro. <laughs> if I come anywhere Whoa. near a cat. Whoa. Okay. okay. Yeah. Why are you coming near cats? No, nah, he's all about that pussy. <laughs> hey, you started. My, uh, what the fuck? Speaking it's his of, dog. Speaking of Your dog's dogs. listening, bro. <laughs> he's getting pissed. He's like, my literal eyeball. Will swells up not it, just not just around my eye like the white part of my eyeball will just is go. it just one particular eye or does it's either one eye? whichever yeah. one yeah it doesn't matter which one it, it, they'll both go it's so fucking you, bad and the nose and the fucking i'll break out and so uh, so other than being allergic to cats do you like cats i at all? love cats really but i can't be around them really yeah i just can't do it mm. there is no amount of claritin on this planet that will yeah. knock that out of there you know and i'm gifted I'm allergic. Uh -huh. I'm allergic to certain cats, depending on their dander, whatever you want to say. That's what it is, right? You're allergic to their dander. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I'm, allerg I'm allergic to. So I think <clears throat> I'm allergic to all of it. Yeah. Yeah. But there's certain types of like dander on cats where like people aren't that aren't allergic to it. Mm -hmm. Um, we had a cat for a while that just passed away last year, and uh, that was probably the only cat that I ever like legit fucking loved. That cat was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace, Lily. <laughs> do you but, just uh, give a shout out to a cat? Give us yeah. a dude. Lily was the shit, dude. She's out there. So Lily, she's watching. She's watching right now. Oh, cat heaven down on us. Or cat hell. She was kind of, you know, <clears throat> just doing shit. All right. Know? All right. Okay. <laughs> but that being said, I fucking love dogs. Dogs have always, I've grew up with dogs. That's always been the yeah, thing. I'm a dog person. For sure. Yeah. Whether it was the multiple chihuahuas I owned as a child with my, <laughs> with my, uh, That's my parents. That's racist. Bro, it's a fact. <laughs> like, my Mexican family had tons of chihuahuas. <laughs> like, and then uh, later on in life, growing up with... Uh, or as white people know them, as Roombas. Roomba. <laughs> uh, I had this awesome German shepherd. Her name was Boo Boo. She was awesome. Uh, yeah, dude, that was her name. Bro, don't laugh at my dog name. What the boo 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 boo? I didn't name her, so <laughs> I'll just I'll just put it at that. Um, but she was an extremely smart uh, German Shepherd. She was awesome. She knew how to like fucking open and close the back door for herself with like a sheet tied to it. Yeah, let herself out, go to the restroom, come back in, close the door. She was awesome. Yeah, and then the dog I have now, she fucking rocks. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Just when I hear the word companion, I think travel. You can't travel with a cat. Oh, that mean that makes sense. You you just you can't throw a cat on a leash. <laughs> just, you I, say that? I, it's so white people. It's just dude, it Andrew's just mom. Screams, Andrew's mom used to walk her cat. Scream so like Caucasian. Like we are the Caucasian race. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna walk my cat. Like <laughs> what the fuck? It just brings up the. Oh, what are we doing? What what are we doing right now? What is what is this? What is this? Yeah. So uh I dated Andrew's mom back in high school and back in those days. She used to she used to walk 
her cat. She would always walk her cat, dude. I was always like, what the fuck are you doing? What are we doing here? You're talking about your kid, Andrew. I thought you were talking about Andrew. Andrew. The other Andrew? Yeah, the other Andrew. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about other Andrew. And, yeah, his mom. No, <laughs> my like, son. Oh, well son played, Andrew. sir. Well yeah. played. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I um, never even... That would have been a completely different story. Yeah, it's story. a whole different story <laughs> altogether. So dogs all around the table? Yep. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. fuck cats, dude. <laughs> no, but hear me out. Cats are... No. Dude, you... Okay. But cats... You like get if one you of those stay... little lasers, mm-hmm. you get a cat, fucking good times. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's about where I could do a cat is it's mm. laser. Dude, just my grandparents used to have this cat. Her name was Nala, and she was the fucking devil, dude. I hate it. Is that cat in hell? That, that that cat's in fucking cat hell, dude, for sure, dude. And Kel, dad, you fucking... <laughs> hey, go to Kel. Go to Kel. Is dude, that, that a fucking cat dude was so, was so mean to everybody except for, like, my uncle, and that was it. And anytime we spent the night, dude, that cat would just attack our feet all night, bro. I fucking hated that cat. Fuck cats, dude. Unless you like them. I don't know. Like, if you're a, an introvert and you stay indoors or you work online and you can still Zoom or whatever Sure, yeah, your and you're job, not allergic to them. It's great. And you're not allergic yeah. to them. Like, 100%, like, I will come home from work and I will chill and play video games and my cat will sit and just chill in my lap. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, as long as you're cool with me fucking hovering over you throwing a fit. Yeah. <laughs> right. Throwing a fit playing Fortnite. Play God damn Fortnite, it. Bro. Six-year-old beat me. Fuck. Damn kids. God damn kids. That was a bot. Fuck that. No, nah, that was a bot. No. Nah. Kids. I picture Rob getting really angry at Fortnite, dude. Yelling. Just fucking yelling. Fuck you. No, no. Go to bed. I, <laughs> the only thing I do, I, I'm, I'm really like, Oh shit, look at me win. Like if I get a battle royale or if I get the victory royales, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like if I win, oh yeah, hell yeah, I'm saving that screen clip. Look at this. Oh, yeah, you I showed can. that 12 year old. I, I show all the bots and 12 year olds <laughs> of the world. Like, <laughs> don't even enter this game. This is my world now. <laughs> do you want to do another, another hot take or do you want to go to the next subject? Do we have a hot take? I, don't know. I mean, we had the one that was up there. Do we have another one? I Dude, mean, we, we got, got a whole fucking, fucking box of these. Hot take. We should normalize makeup on men. You know what, bro? Do whatever the fuck Dude, you, do want. What you want. I don't give a fuck. You want to rock some fucking? I got my toenails are painted right now. I don't, whatever, dude. You know what I mean? But do you still you guys think I'm fucking around? What color? They're, I think they're pink and green. My daughter's painted my toenails. Yeah, you got really fucking weird. daughters for sure. Yeah. yeah. So. But, you know, <laughs> but you know you're wearing socks and shoes, though, at that point. Yeah. But when my daughters first do them, they always want to go to the store and they make sure I, I wear slides so that everybody can see my nails. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I, uh, anybody looks at you and sees the two girls, they're going to yeah, know that. Like, oh, yeah. 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 Fucking. Yeah. Dad of the year right there, you know? Yeah, man. What about you? You got your toenails painted? I'm just glad you're going out with just your slides and not wearing socks. <laughs> <laughs> just walking around butt-ass naked. You have to show off your nails because your daughter just wanted you to show off your nails. And I'm like, that shouldn't even be a questionable thing if you're going out in slides, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. No, I'm saying I purposely wear them because they want to make sure that my toes are exposed. Yeah, but if you go out in slides, what the fuck are you wearing? So, Rob, Shorts. normalizing... Men wearing makeup, what do you think? What you got? Um, well, to be honest with you, many professions require it nowadays, especially if you want to have a public figure expression, you know, out to the world. If people are going to see you on the daily basis, you want to look the same facial wise, like we had a Cheeto, you know what I'm saying? Like you can, for a president. <laughs> nice. You, you can have Chester? that Cheeto tone if you want the Cheeto tone. You can have the fucking like George Hamilton golden brown. You know what I'm saying? No, that uh, that might be too dated. Uh, but you you can have whatever the Magda of there's something about Mary. You know how tan she was, mm-hmm. George Hamilton, right? Like, I, um, yeah. so you're for it? Uh, I'm just you know. Hey, do what you want. I, yeah, dude, that's exactly how I but feel. But, like, yeah. w- 
there, there's professions that are require it. Anyone yeah. that's in Movies, front of a camera. TV shows, the news anchors, all those dudes are wearing. And anyone you see on TV is probably wearing makeup. I hate to break it to you, but they're probably wearing makeup. Yeah. Except for us. We couldn't afford a crew. Uh, but we are looking. Check it. Uh, like, subscribe, <laughs> follow. Slide into our DMs if you do decent makeup. We want to make Mark look uh Cute, like cuter. Uh, I gotta be as cute that. as my toes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get, get the yeah, get it all. Josh, what do you think about this? I'm agreeing with Danny. Like same thing with the do pizza. Do whatever the fuck. Yeah, you hurt nobody. Do. Fuck, who cares? I mean, except for pineapple. I think I think some of the people out there that would be like, you know, upset about that. I think they should just go very insecure what, about their own. So, what are your thoughts on pineapple on men? <laughs> Pineapple. With mustard? With mustard? Oh, well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Would you do it? Oh, Wait, shit. do what? <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing? Wait, what are we doing with the men in the pineapple? Doesn't matter. I got you in the conversation. Let's do this. All right. Uh, oh, shit. Um, so we'll do, we'll do fucking one more, dude. We might as well. It says. Wait, really? Okay. Yeah. Want to do one more? Yeah, yeah, let's do one more. Do one more. I don't know about this one. This one says mm-hmm. the skin industry is a scam. Skin industry? Yeah. What do you mean skin industry? <laughs> I don't know I if they mean really fucking the face deal. or four. You know what I mean? Four skin. It says the skin care yeah, industry. You, you're missing some words there, bro. That's what I said. The skin care industry. I heard skin industry. Well, I didn't hear I skin. Oh, bro. He said, he said the skin industry. No, I meant skin care I didn't hear there no care <laughs> involved in there. That's what we're talking about. I didn't about even porn? catch that. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like a game for a minute. I'm like, oh, I might need a new couch. Uh, I think there's products and, and shit that works, but I think that there's probably a lot of shit that doesn't quite do what uh, what you're going to expect it to. Yeah. yeah. I'd say more more so the shampoo game is a fucking scam. Because, so. like, dude, think about how many, like, I literally, people ask me all the time, oh, I love your your long hair. It's so soft. What do you do to it? He's like, soap. A fucking. bar of soap. Literally, I have a fucking twelve in one fucking shampoo. It's got it's shampoo, body wash, fucking car dishes, everything. You know, where did you get? <laughs> where did you get said twelve in one? Degrease your car. Degrease your, it's fucking yeah, dude. Yeah, I Good didn't shit. know Fabuloso made a hair wash. Fabuloso. <laughs> twelve. You said dishes, Racism. man. Racism. kidding. Fucking what? What kind of shampoo is that? Clorox, bro. Fabuloso, bro. I'd wash that my hair in Fabuloso. That shit smells bomb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck. This reminds me of the bar. Um, so, so go ahead. You were gonna say? No, no. Go ahead. You go ahead. All right. Should I hop into this next subject really quick? Go for it. There we go. Okay, so The Last of Us Two. We're talking about video games, real quick, guys. The Last of Us Two came out. Like, I think like four years ago, and they just released a remaster for it. Now, you were saying, is there any point, right? You were talking, well, we were talking about this Okay, years? so for me, I'm more of a fan of the HBO series, The Last of Us, which is based off video game. The Last of Us. And it's supposed to be based off the first game. Mm-hmm. Okay. We have because- a really dope shirt based off The Last of Us you guys should buy. Link in the bio. There you go. Go ahead. You do? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, but I was more wondering if they remastered the second game to be more like the series so they can play off for the second so season. So what you're talking about would be a rebuild. Uh, that would be like redoing it from the ground up. That's not what they did. No, they no, no. But I'm saying like, here we reintroduce this game but like we may have altered some cutscenes. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, like, I get that. That's what you're. That yeah, I yeah. know. I know what you're talking about. So yes and no because if you play through the game, it plays through just like the original Last of Us Two. It just looks different. <clears throat> I didn't even realize that that game came out on the PS4. I thought that it was a PS5 game. It was not. Uh, it came out before. Yeah. I will say I've been playing it the past like week. And it's fucking beautiful, dude. I didn't think that they could make that game look any better. Yeah. And there's certain parts of that game and scenes where it just looks like you're watching TV, you know? Which, especially like what, uh, like in like the rainy scenes where like you're walking through rain and stuff, like it just feels like you get really, like it, it immerses you into this, this fucking world that you're in. 
Now, what I like that they did about The Last of Us Remaster is they brought a new mode to the game, which is kind of like a, a kind of like Pascal. a horde, like kind of, no, kind of like a horde mode. Oh, exactly. You know, you, like you, you know, like a horde mode yeah. on like yeah. uh, fucking any game. other fucking zombie, game. any other zombie game. Thank okay. you. And uh, I like that they did this. It's like a so you look like at this bulletin board, and there's like three levels you pick from, and you decide which one you want to pick. And if you pass that level, you move on to the next. And I think like every six, you fight like a boss. I think it's cool because the the uh, the fighting mechanics in that game are so well done. To make us to make a to make a mode like this just brings so much replay value because they're also every time you do it, you're unlocking skins. You're unlocking other characters in the game that you can play as for the first time. Like you're you're not just playing as Joel and Ellie. Like you're playing right. as all these other side characters, and all these other side characters have different buffs and stuff like that. Off the top of when you first think about it, a lot of people laugh. Like, why the fuck are they doing a remaster? It literally came out four years ago, three years ago, whatever it is. Um, I think it's enough to justify doing it, especially if you already own the game. It's not a whole seventy dollar game. It's a ten dollar PS Five upgrade, and you're getting. Does the story change? The story doesn't change, but they they do have in the options. It's called the Lost Levels, and there's a bunch of levels that didn't make the cut of the final game that you can play there, and you can also play through the entire game with the creator commentary on it, and they can and they're like talking to you about the game and why they did it like this and why this part, That's like cool. that, which is really that, fucking cool. Do you think there's they're going to do that on the second season. As far as what? Throwing in the hidden levels. It's a possibility, dude. They, I mean, The Last of Us, not so much spoilers, but if you have, if you've seen The Last of Us season you one. You probably stop watching now. Yeah, but if you've seen The Last of Us season one, they were like 98% true to the fucking video game, right. which is. <clears throat> Beautiful. Which is awesome, being that it's a video game adaptation, you know, a, a considering, cheap, considering it's a video game adaptation where normally... We have Super Mario Brothers, we have Double yeah. Dragon, yeah. we have Street Doom Fighter. Doom with The Rock. Doom. That, yeah, that, that, that movie was horrible. Let's take that one off the fucking list. I know that was last week, but still. Like, <laughs> let's right. take that one off the Let's take that one off the list. That was last week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking, uh, but, uh, no, but like, so, I just... Seems like just Whoa. yesterday. <laughs> For being that I was very skeptical about it, if you were thinking about getting this remaster, but you weren't sure, if you already own the PS4 version, it's a $10 upgrade. And there's so much new content in it that I think that it's worth it. Really? And it just fucking looks amazing. So yeah. you're trying to sell it. I'm trying okay. to sell it. I, I personally think, even though on paper, it sounds like a horrible idea to do a, a fucking remaster four years later, but pick it up. It's awesome. That's yeah. it. Joel and Ellie. The second one? Yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah. So what I mean, is there I don't want to go into spoilers in that, dude. I but, really don't want to spoil the second season for people because But you have played the game, you beat the game. I've this is my third playthrough of this game. That's how much I love this game. Okay. And it, the storytelling in this game is probably one of the best stories that I've for played or watched or read in general. It's up there for me. It's probably number one. Really? Yeah, I fucking love it, dude. It's it's so a lot of people weren't happy with some of the things that they decided to do in the second game. Like I said, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it, or if you've only seen the TV show, I don't want to spoil that for you because you guys are in for a fucking wonderful ride. That that game is amazing, and I can't wait to see what they do with the season two of it. And uh Will yeah. will there be a season three? That's a great question because one, I know that they are supposedly working on a, a Last of Us 3. Now, do they go the route of we're going to fucking, what was it? Uh, was it Game of Thrones where they the last season wasn't a book? Is, mm -hmm. that, is that right? I think that's yeah. what it was. I think something like that, right? Do they decide to go that route? Because I think, you know, that whole series is fucking amazing. And if they manage to keep the essence of both of those games and manage to like branch off of it and do something great with it. I'm all in for a season three. I would love to see it. I'll do it. I would be awesome if they did a season three that was so good. They're like, Hey, let's make a video game off season three that they did. You know, that'd be fucking rad. Yeah. I'm just thinking it stars Nicholas Cage. Now that he did the uh, unbearable weight of massive talent with 
Nicholas Cage. Have you seen that movie? Oh, mm-hmm. it's fucking I want to see. Uh, dude, I, dude it's that makes me so happy because I want to see so it. It's so fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Where he just plays great. himself. Have you seen that? Yeah. No, no, oh, my yeah. God. Where it's just like, what if I really... Like, it starts out with Con Air. Like, it just shows Con Air. Like... <laughs> That's amazing. 100%. Like, One of my favorite Nicholas Cage movies. I got this bad for you, Casey. <laughs> like, oh. what's, your, what's your favorite Nicholas Cage movie? I'd probably say, uh, what was it, Raising Arizona? Okay. Mm. Josh? Gone in 60 seconds, probably. That's a good one. It's a good one, too. <clears throat> when he does that, I love that. Let's ride. Let's ride. I, I can tell you what his worst one is. What's that? If you say Connor. No, no. Because <laughs> Connor is my favorite, like, dude. Connor okay. or Face Off? Face Off is a fucking awesome movie, dude. Damn, uh, I'm going to make enemies with this. <laughs> is that the <laughs> one you don't like? like? He's going to no. say it's Face Off. No. Yeah. It, uh, if you take two of the world's worst actors and you put them in a movie. But you switch their faces. But they take their face. You just oh, switch their face. They have one Could of them you act tell that terrible? either like, one is the worst actor? Who's the worst actor now? God. And it was just like, oh, oh you guys are both horrible. First of all, I would not talk. That must any. have been a pretty bad experience for you watching that one. Then you know how many times I saw that movie head. in theater. They did another one together. Broken Arrow. No. How many no. times no. you saw? Broken Arrow was Face Christian off? Slater. Okay, huh? Christian. Slater. That's a awesome movie. What? How many yeah. times you see Face Off in the theater? Too many. Too many did you really see it multiple times in theaters? Okay, so hear me out. <laughs> Wait, I thought you said you didn't like it. Like, I what? didn't. It sounds I really like you didn't. really liked it. No. <laughs> it no, like no, no, no. The more you talk about this. Is that a fucking no. face-off shirt you're wearing? <laughs> like, uh-huh. No. No, no, no. no definitely you got the fucking keychain? You got the fucking keychain, bro? Where's your fucking face-off tattoo, bro? <laughs> so this is John Travolta. <laughs> this is uh, no. Um, what was your beef with the movie, bro? They're two horrible actors going at it for who's the worst actor in a John Woo movie. And you're like, all right, go for it. I'm like, I'm all down. Where's the doves? All right. They're about to have a showdown. At I the cried, fucking- Bro, it was the dumbest <laughs> fucking movie. Dust guy fucking. It was. That carousel I- scene, bro? I was done, dude. No. No, the whole <laughs> fucking thing. Oh, just, yeah. Like- no, they put it on pretty thick. I mean, you're right. It was. <laughs> It's, it's yeah. okay. So hear me out. Like this is around Definitely the same time. time of like Independence Day yeah. and like other shits coming out around this time, or you're just like, you got to step up your game a bit, like yeah. a bit. Like don't get me wrong, John Woo just put out a movie called Silent Night. It's supposed to be a Christmas movie, right? About At that the, time or now? Now. Okay about this dad who gets like shot in the throat and loses the ability to speak, but he can cry. It, it doesn't fucking make sense. I, I it sounds like he's making this up. No, no, I swear really to God. That's the best part is that he's not. It's I real. swear to God. It was like, do you want to rent this for 20 bucks or buy it for 25? And I'm like, no, <laughs> for five more bucks, we can own it. It's a John Moon movie. Like he made face off. It's gotta be good. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Dude, doesn't it, there's no See, words in this off, fucking huh? movie. It's like, mm-hmm. double for- mm-hmm. uh, So you uh, saw it multiple times in the theater no, and you no, bought it? No, so why did you see it multiple times in the theater? Yeah. Wait, wait, like, face off. Better? Yeah, face yeah, off. Why okay, did you see it so many times? Okay, so. Did you like work in a movie theater? Face. No, it was like, hey, we can go to the movies to go see this movie and we go with these girls. Right? Um, and so back in the day when your boys were like, hey, we got girls and we're coming through. We're going to go to the movies. We're going to go see. Be touched. Go for it. It was like, hey, <laughs> we're coming through around this time. Like, well, I'm still your friend. I still want to watch movies with you on the weekend. Like, that's what we did every weekend. Like, you always went to the fucking movies every week. So you went for the company, not the movie. No. Well, yeah. Yes and no. So like the movie was good. No, when every weekend <laughs> we're like, getting there. Hear me out. Loved so it. when you were young, every day or every weekend, it was like, hey, let's go to the movies. Mm-hmm. So Friday night, like you're like, hey, let's go to the movies. You go see a movie. You might see some friends from school there. You might see whatever. But the movies were fucking crowded because that's what was the fucking doing town. So now as you get older, you're like, hey, let's go do the fucking movies. It's 
it's a little fucking creepy because everyone watches everything at home now. But the movies, like, still go fucking watch the movies because you get to see it on a big fucking screen and, like, go experience, like, that's how we watched fucking entertainment growing up. Like, you went and saw it on a big screen. And like, so why did you see it multiple times? <laughs> that's what I want to know, bro. Because it was I, chicks I get involved. that you're giving us the fucking... Listen, listen. 13, 14, 15 years old, right? You're a teenager. Yeah, oh, dude. You're getting shit. into the, like, the everybody's dating but me. Why the fuck am I not, like, I'm not pulling shit. Because well, you had a beard at seven, bro. But what do I do for the weekend? I'm chopping lumber over here, right? You know? <laughs> I don't know, man. No. At 15, I had a kid. <laughs> yeah, I skipped no, that like, movie theater shit. Josh, Josh was putting in that work, dude. <laughs> you just like, watch this. Like, I went right to the big leagues, dude. Jackpot. Oh, you fucking won. Oh. Well, yeah, there was could... some face-off going on. <laughs> He's like, I wish I had what you had. You no. Know, I would never trade what I had. Because I'll put like, your face on here. <laughs> your mouth can't get pregnant. <laughs> sorry, sweetie. Oh, shit. No, sorry. Oh, fuck. Uh, Do you guys want to talk about these fucking songs? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, Keeping Secrets by Fit for a King. What'd you think? I remember. I dug it. Yeah. This. I dug it. It's a little, shit. A little hard to do with this guy it's still dying over here. I liked it. It was good. Yeah, yeah. I liked it too. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how much of, of Fit for King I've listened to. I confused them now. with I Prevail, so I don't blame you there. Yeah, they're kind of they're kind of along the same lines. Um, but I, I liked it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go check out some I, more. I dug it. I want to hear more. Yeah. What do you think, Rob? Which one? You don't have to the, cry about it, bro. The the mean the, green. no uh, keeping no. secrets by fit for keeping King. secrets. Keeping secret. Uh, no, I dug it. I dug it. Uh, it was um good. It hit uh, rocking. You know, it just it wasn't. Right. It was. It was no face off, but it was fucking. <laughs> It's fucking good. good he take his face off. My he wanted face to take his face on this song. off. Now this Ice Nine's Kill song, <laughs> yes, Meet and Greet. It's not exactly new. It came out in October of last year. Yeah, it came out. I want to say. Yeah, you know, but this was a song that we thought would be good to talk about. And honestly, I thought it was crazy. The chorus. What? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. That that's that's the, what you want to bring up? That's yeah, what dude, I was we were, bringing up the whole way fucking here. <laughs> and that's what you wanted to bring up? Okay. Yeah, no. You, <laughs> fuck, you fucking take it. Yeah. Have it. How does you feel about the chorus, Rob? <laughs> fucking, are you kidding me? <laughs> Tell us how you feel about this song. Tell us about this song, I bro. feel like they fucking ripped off a great song to make a great song. You're just like, oh, that's a good song. There's a melody in there wait, that sounds wait. a lot like... But, I want to say it's like an Evanescence song. It's an Evanescence song. No, it 100% is an Evanescence yeah. song. Are you fucking kidding me? If we had the ability to play back a music video, I would say start this fucking music video. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we're watching this music video. Sorry, Mark, we pointed it over your face. Um, but it's not so much this part of the music video that I have a problem with. It's still over your face. But you got an amazing TV head. I do. You like his TV head? That's great. Now, if we're still showing the music video, TV it's still head. not this part. It's wild. I don't know how long to wait for this. <laughs> um, but but we'll keep going. Essentially, it's this part uh, where it hits the chorus is Evanescence. Yeah, I think yeah, it's it's course. it's it's the same key. It's it's so, got to be pretty close. It's same that chord sober progression, song, right? The fucking... yeah, I think yeah, it sounds sounds like it. Yeah, well, well, the chorus is Call very, Me When You're Sober. I think Call so. Me When You're Sober. Yeah, yeah I want to say it sounds yeah. a lot. What did you think of the song, Josh? I liked the song. I heard something similar to what you guys are talking about with the melody. I didn't know if it was an Evanescence song or not, but driving over here, he mentioned it like, what other song is that? And we were trying to figure out, is it a Breaking Benjamin track? Is it a used track? Because you hear the melody in there. Yeah, yeah. There was there was a borrowed melody, and it was yeah, like like, oh. like I mean, I understand like all these chord progressions. We've heard them all a billion times it's over really right hard now. To, to, right. Yeah. Well, it's 
you can't. You know what I'm saying? No, you can. No, well, <laughs> I'm saying Green what Day I'm, has made a living of it. Like the combination that exists, trust me, it's all been done. It's all been cracked. Yeah. It's been done too many times over. There's a new Green Day song that just came out where it sounds like a Pink song. Yes. Get the fuck out of here, Green yeah. Day. Uh, ripped but off no, somebody else. no, because before it was a Pink song, it was a Deep Purple song. Yes. But the, but they were showing the differences, and they were saying that the pink song was different enough to not be the. I heard a guy the, going deep purple, pink, green day, and he's like pink, purple, green. They're all <laughs> they're all that's funny. It's an Easter yeah. day, and he's on the fucking. Huh. They all have but the same riff. It's I love. Funny. I think we saw the same video because the guy at the end was just like, "Yeah, it's a pink song, but the pink song is better." <laughs> he was just like, he was like, "The pink song is better." Yeah, it's the yeah that fucking riff. Yeah. And it's literally the same fucking riff that I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's in the same key. Oh yeah, absolutely. So yeah. You, you know, but like, well, yeah. it's not just the same key. I mean, it's very reminiscent. Of oh it. yeah. I, mean, it the, like, <laughs> I think they went like down instead of up for one part, and yeah. it's literally everything else sounds the same. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That being said, fuck Green Day, and uh, we are the last <laughs> yeah. days of war. Wow. Please subscribe. Yeah. Please like. Uh, you like Green Day? Oh, they have, you have to like Green Day if you want to stay in time, right? Yeah. So fuck Green Day, we're out. <laughs>